All right, August was my worst month for stock photo sales in years. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about what happened. Now, the only good thing that happened with my stock photo sales last month was Adobe stock. Adobe stock was my number one site last month, and that's the first time that has ever happened. It's the second time that Adobe stock has been higher than Shutterstock on my sales. So as my Shutterstock has been going down, Adobe stock continues to rise, and so I'm pretty happy about that. But that's the only good thing that happened in this past month in my stock photo sales. All right, now if you've seen any of my past earnings reports, one of the things you'll know is that typically, Envato Elements is my number one site each month. And it's number one by a good margin. Typically, I make more than $250 on Envato Elements each month. And I have been for a couple of years now. But this month, it dropped down to $10. So that's a big cut, going from like $250 to $10. Now the reason this is, is that most of my earnings from Avanto came from the contributor bonus. And what the contributor bonus is, is what Avanto does is if someone doesn't download any fo photos for the month, one of their subscribers, they take that and put it into a pool. And what they were doing is they would basically take that pool of money and they would distribute it evenly amongst all the contributors to the platform. Now they made a big change in how they calculate that that last month, where now they distribute it proportionally based on the number of sales you get. So because I don't have that many photos up there, I actually don't get that many sales. I've only got about 15 photos. My portion of the contributor bonus went from $250 to $3. Okay, so this is going to be a big cut, and they're going to be doing this going forward. So I don't expect Invano Elements to ever get up to $250 again. Now, to be honest, the way that they're doing it now is probably more fair. Well, not probably, it is more fair than the way it was before because you have someone like me who just uploads a couple of photos and was getting like $250 a month, even though my sales of those photos was maybe only like five dollars whereas on eventually it's not just photos they have lots of other things like um, design templates you know videos website templates and things that take a lot more work to put together and a lot more time to put together than a photo does so the way that it works is those ones sell at a higher price so if someone was let's say get a hundred sales on a design template as opposed to a hundred stock photo sales they're gonna get a larger portion of it. Plus, if there was a photographer on there that had thousands of photos, they're obviously going to get more sales and a larger cut of the contributor bonus. So it is more fail, but it's a bit disappointing for me because obviously it was nice having that $250 coming in every month. Now overall, the rest of the sites were pretty much average or a bit lower than average. There was really no standout sites last month. I didn't make any big sales on 500px or Fine Art America. You look at Big Stock Photo last month, I made like $27. This month it goes down to like a dollar. So just overall, not great sales on the rest of the sites. And so that ended me up with $150 in sales on uh, in August. Now that may not seem that bad, but in July, as comparison, I made $500. So you can go and take a look at that video, but it's a pretty big drop. And normally I'm averaging like 300 to $600 a month. So going from that range down to $150 is a pretty big drop. And unfortunately, because a lot of the drop is because of Vano Elements, and because I don't expect it to pick back up again, I think I'm gonna start seeing, you know, monthly sales in the range of 150 to maybe $400 going forward. So one of the things I do need to do is I really haven't had as much time to upload my photos, but I have been taking a lot of photos, I just haven't been processing them and uploading to the stock sites. So one of the things I'm gonna do over the next month is start processing and uploading more photos, all these photos I've taken over the summer, get those on the stock sites and that should push the number up a little bit. Another thing that might help my sales in the coming months is that a couple months ago, I submitted some photos I had on Viewbug to their creative marketplace, and they finally got accepted. At least some of them have got accepted. So if there are people going and buying stock photos on Viewbug, at least now I've got some photos up there, and I may start making some revenue from that site. And that's it. That's all I really have to report this month. You know, there's not a lot to talk about when I don't make many sales, but this is kind of nature of the industry. 
right? Like last month I made $500, this month 150. It really does go up and down by month. And since I've been doing soft photography, it's always been this way. You have some good months and you have some bad months. And what you really need to look at is kind of what you average out for the year, or sometimes what you average out for the quarter. If you look at your sales over a three month period, it'll be more linear. But when you look at it month to month, it can be really be up and down like uh, what I'm seeing these days. Anyways, this is your first time at the channel. Um, I suggest that you go through and subscribe. I do videos like this where I do my stock earnings reports, but I also create videos about how to make money selling your photos online. I've got a playlist up here that you I'll link to that has all of my other stock earnings reports and best of luck selling your photos online.